Hey everybody, it's Jeremy and Amanda's behind the camera. Today we're looking at a Palomino Puma 28BH SS2. So let's get started. The length on this travel is 36 feet 10 inches. The dry weight is 7,513 pounds and that hitch weight is 835. Well, let's start right up front. You're going to see that it has a very nice upgraded power jack. Your propane is gonna sit right there. Your battery will go here. You do have a battery disconnect. Coming down the side, this unit is gonna have one slide. Here's one side of your power jacks. Your dump valve. Coming around to the back, you are going to have a spare, a nice bumper, 50 amp unit, this is going to be prepped for a backup camera. You do have a ladder so you can access your fully walkable roof. We will come around right here to the outside kitchen. You have a nice griddle and sink. An outside fridge. And here's another side of your power stabilizers and your propane quick connect. This unit's gonna have two entries. You do have a power awning and we will start going into this door where you have some very nice solid steps. So let's go in and take a look. Coming right into the kitchen of this Puma, I'm going to start with a little bit of storage right as you come in the door. Oh yeah. They give you a nice drawer and a nice cabinet there. Mm. Like you have a nice stainless steel corner sink with a roll-up dish drainer as well as a cutting board. There is right. storage above. Okay. And storage below. All right. Oh, look at there. You have a magic shelf microwave yes your range hood and a three burner stove and oven combination yes this unit is going to have a very nice 12 volt compressor fridge let me step right over across here down below your fridge you have a little bit of storage mm -hmm. and right next to it is your pantry with floor to ceiling shelving. All right. Great. I'm going to turn right around so you can see the seating area. This is going to have a large U-shaped dinette. This table will drop down to make another sleeping area. You've got storage on both sides. Nice windows all around with the slow rise shades. Here you have a jackknife sofa that will lie flat for another sleeping area with storage up above it. And angled from your uh, seating area, is this where your TV will mount? It is on, does have a swing arm mount. Your sound control and an electric fireplace. All right, which way you wanna go first? This is a really great unit if you have older kids because you don't get to a bunk room, you actually get two bedrooms. We'll start here. This is going to be the second bedroom. You have um, a wardrobe here mm -hmm. and they give you a little nightstand there. This is gonna be a 60 by 80 queen. You have a shelf 
up above that for storage. Now this does have a window and uh, you have a TV backer right up here if you'd like to mount a TV. I'm going to back up so that you can see that this has got storage underneath. Right there. Wow. So this is your second bedroom. Okay. We're going to come right around, come through the camper, and we will stop and show you the bathroom. This is where your second entry door is, which is great uh, if you have guests over and they don't need to come all the way through your camper, they can come right through this door. You have a nice corner shower for height reference. Jeremy is about six feet tall, so he's gonna have plenty of headroom with a skylight. That's great clearance. They give you a motion sensor night light over here. Oh yeah, I love those. Your medicine cabinet, they have an exhaust fan. The very nice stainless steel sink that you can get both hands in. Storage down below. You have a cubby storage here. Electrical outlet. And your foot flush toilet is in an excellent position. Now we will show you the main bedroom of this unit. This master bedroom has a queen size bed, 60 by 80. You're gonna have storage up above, hanging wardrobes on both sides, plenty of space um, down here if you have a CPAP or anything else you need to plug in. This is gonna be identical on both sides. And you have a nice window on both sides that will open for some cross ventilation. And this one does have a 13.5 BTU air conditioner up front and a 15,000 back here in the main part. Yes. All right. All right, everybody. If you enjoy and you love this travel trailer, all the information for the dealership will be down in the description below. And like always, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe and follow along with us. Thanks, everybody.